Good evening, everyone. Uh, I hope uh, all of you are doing pretty well. And uh, all teachers, I mean, the educators and students are all uh, preparing hard for the exam. So today I'm not here with any presentation on uh, uh, techniques of learning and all. Uh, today, I just wanted to bring up a motivational story, which I heard uh, today only. In the evening, I was watching some videos and I came across this wonderful story and I thought I must share it with students. So I made a little presentation uh, with the story because even uh, after growing up, I think we all love to hear stories. So short story, but very meaningful. I thought I must share. So here we are. Okay, so children, uh, this is my message to you that uh, you, uh, the young people of today, you brighten up our world. We've lived our lives meaningfully. And when we see you, we, we see our reflection in you and we feel proud of you. You're all unique. You're all wonderful. You're all special. And it's because of you that the world is a better place to live. So... Uh, just to motivate you, here's a short story I heard today. And there was this uh, young man um, who learned painting with a lot of hard work from uh, his teacher. And uh, one day, like after learning all the nuances of paintings, he, he made a wonderful painting and he uh, showed his teacher and the teacher was also very happy. But this boy was wanting to get, you know, kind of... Uh, some feedback from common people. So he left this painting in a um, public place. He made this beautiful painting, a scenery, and uh, it looks beautiful to me. And uh, he kept it in, in a public place and he left uh, some pens over there and also a note that if you feel that there is some error or some mistake in this uh, uh, painting, you kindly circle that portion and I'm going to uh, edit it or uh, I'll paint it again. So he left it there and he went away. And in the evening when he came back, he was horrified because the painting looked something like this. People had picked up all kinds of paints and they had circled, you know, like whatever faults they found with the painting. And uh, the painting had been completely destroyed. So he was crestfallen, he was very sad, and he went back to his teacher and he showed him that this is what has happened. I had left uh, my uh, painting outside uh, because I wanted uh, critical appreciation, but this is what has happened. So the teacher said, well, <clears throat> understand one thing, people will always look for faults, right? So what you do is, instead of asking them to find your faults, you make another painting. You are a wonderful painter. You make another one. And if you still want recommendations, you keep it again at the same place. But instead of pens, you keep paint brushes and paints over there. So uh, if they have to, you know, if they have to uh, correct the painting, they will use the brushes and colors and they will uh, edit or make your painting better. So this boy, he made another painting and uh, it took him about two or three days. He made it again. And once again, he kept it at the same public place. And this time, instead of pens, he kept some paint brushes. So he went away. And again, in the evening, when he came back, he saw that the painting was intact. Nobody had made any changes over there. So uh, he was like, you know, he was in a, a mood of questioning, you know, he had a desire to know that why has this painting not been altered? So he went back to his teacher and he asked, he said, so why, why have people not made any changes? So then his teacher told him that, you know, there'll be people who will criticize you for everything, but there'll be nobody who will correct you. There'll be people who'll find out your mistakes, but they will, there'll be very few people who will correct you for those mistakes. So the moral of the story is that you must find your mentor. 
a person who believes you and you must trust their wisdom because I'm sure there would be somebody or the other whom you really, really trust and somebody who believes in you. So trust their wisdom. Listen to just one or two of those people. Don't pay attention to unnecessary criticism, criticism from the people all around you. So that was the moral of the story. Pull yourself up. We all believe in you. And even if you falter, even if you fall down once or seven times, get up eight. So you may encounter many defeats, but you must not feel defeated. It's all in your mind. So all the best once again for your exams. I'm sure you'll do pretty well. And um, we'll be waiting for your results and your success because we believe in you. So have a wonderful Sunday tomorrow morning. With that, I take leave. Thank you, everyone. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for uh, being new subscribers to all the new subscribers. My sincere thanks and gratitude. Thank you. See you soon with something more meaningful. Bye-bye. Good night.